uh, we're going to talk about painting texture. Um, I'll give you two foods for thought. One is to take your existing paint that you're going to paint your room and suppose you want it to actually have texture. Go to your local paint shop or Home Depot, Lowe's, any of those big guys and look for a product that's called a texture paint additive. And what you do is you add that sand grit or a uh, whatever it is vermiculite or something. It's different levels of texture. Follow the directions, mix it into your paint and put it on your walls as, uh, as it tells you to do in the instructions. That is how to create texture with your paint if you actually want texture. Another way that I kind of developed some many years ago um, to create texture without having texture is by printing the paint onto the surface with plastic. And I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing is to use about a three mil plastic. That means it's fairly thin and cut a lot of random shapes. You're only going to use each piece one time. What will happen is that you're going to paint your color on one whole half of your plastic and then close it with the other half. Just for fun, I have two colors so we can create two completely different textural looks. Um, I happen to have a brush here so I'm going to use it rather than mussing up another roller and I am just simply going to put this glaze, it's a water-based, over the whole surface and I would have an assembly line of these, as many as I could handle. So once I start to print this plastic onto the wall, which you'll see soon, that I can cover a lot of square footage at once. And then I'm going to simply fold this over it so it, it doesn't dry before I have a chance to get it to the wall. And this over an existing color will imprint a lighter pattern versus the darker pattern. Or if you want lots of texture and you want to go to town, start with the dark, top it off with the light. So I have my painted plastic ready to print and I have my painted wall, sort of a earthy green. I'm going to simply unfold it. So now I have a larger area than initially with the ink blot theory there. What do you see? Um, and this is the hard part. You know, you just like press it onto the wall and then squash it around. Then you remove it and you have texture. Now the uh, initial idea is to keep going with one color, putting, breaking it into the areas and trying to make it so there's not big blotches everywhere. Um, even if there are, it's no big deal. Textures can be rectified with more texture, if you like. And here's the lighter texture, lighter color. I will put some directly over the first color, just to see what happens with two layers of texture, although I would have allowed it to dry in uh, most circumstances. And then let's just see what happens to have a lighter texture on the wall versus a darker texture down here. Just sort of squish it around. Sometimes you can get a couple prints. It's not much, uh, it's a very thin glaze there. But you can see some texture, especially over this one. 